The recorder is an instrument in the woodwind family. Dating as early as the 1500s, it was extremely popular in the Renaissance and Baroque eras. The recorder has been used throughout history as a popular instrument as well as a teaching tool. We will study the recorder to learn to read music, to play a melodic instrument, and to prepare us for further musical study. The recorder can be made in one, two, or three pieces, as seen here. The top piece is called the head joint. It consists of the mouthpiece, where we put our mouth and blow air, and the labium and duct, where the vibration and sound is produced. The middle joint has the holes for our left and right fingers, and the foot joint has one hole for the pinky finger of our right hand. On the back of the recorder, the thumb hole is covered by your thumb on the left hand. This is the head joint up close. Sound is vibration, and on the recorder, the vibration is caused by the air alternately flowing through the recorder and out the duct. This is where the sound is produced. The recorder family consists of many different sizes of recorders, which we call the consort. This provides a wide range of pitches from really high to really low. The largest and lowest pitched recorder, seen at the top, is the bass. The next smallest, higher pitched, is the tenor. Next is the alto, then soprano, and then finally, the smallest and highest pitched recorder is the sopranino. There are even some smaller and larger recorders than these that are presented by the Renaissance music group Ars Antigua. How many of you have played a recorder before? Fantastic. Some of these recorders you may have never seen before because they're very small or incredibly large. The first one is the, uh, the Gar Klein flute line, which means very, very, very small flute. See how small it is? Artie is the only one who has fingers skinny enough to play it. <laughs> we move to the next size, the Sopranino, which means tiny soprano. <clears throat> And here is the soprano. You will be familiar with this size because this fits smaller fingers. The mellow sounds of the alto come from this instrument. Now we move into the lower register with the tenor. And then we have the bass. <clears throat> Following the bass recorder is one larger that we have. This is the great bass recorder. Artie, would you play a couple of notes on that, maybe all the way down so they can hear how quiet it is? It takes a lot of breath to play that. There is a size larger than this. You have to stand on a stool to play it. It's about this tall, and it's called a contrabass recorder, but they are very rare.
The recorder is still widely used to perform authentic Renaissance and Baroque music. In the music classroom, students learn proper technique to make musical sounds on the recorder. We will learn how to hold the recorder, use proper breath support, and finger different notes. You can play a solo all by yourself, or a duet with a friend, or a group piece with many of your friends. The recorder is a great musical instrument that you will enjoy learning to play and hopefully you will take the skills, knowledge, and appreciation of music with you throughout life.